I'm Emma Avesele and welcome to Ragged Banner's very first online video. Today we'll be talking about men's clothing in our periods from peasants to nobles with a little help from Alexandra de Morlein, aka Catherine Jones from Carlisle. Take it away Kat! So we're going to start with the basic kit that a Norman man would wear. You'll see here in his underwear we have a pair of linen braids which are quite loose fitting pants. Now these were used to hold up his woolen hosen. You'll see he's got two separate wooden legs, which means you can replace one if one gets damaged. Men would wear a leather boot. This is quite a thin leather, but very good at keeping your feet dry. Here we have a linen under tunic. These were worn as an underlayer and were often lived in by people of the period. They would sleep in them, wash in them and work in them. Over his under tunic, he would wear a woolen over tunic. Now, this for this gentleman is quite a, a lightly dyed but tightly fitting over tunic that he would wear to keep him warm and would be one of his only outfits. Next, a cloak. This gentleman is lucky because he has quite a large cloak to keep him dry if it rains or is cold. Next, I'm going to look at levies. This is a levyman. He's a tenant farmer and would be working most of his days in the fields often in that under tunic which we have seen, but if it's colder, he could wear his woolen over tunic, which would be made of sh probably sheep's wool, and this is a natural brown, he can't afford much dye. He does have, you'll notice, a leather belt with a knife on his belt for eating. Next, we're moving up to our tradesmen and merchants. The gentleman here has a brightly colored tunic, and you'll also notice he has a leather belt. Now, the leather work that he would be able to afford would be much richer, a darker dye, much more beautiful tooling on his belt. You'll also see that his bright colours, this will be looking at clothing other people could make for him. He will be able to buy his own clothing and commission work. Next, we have our feudal retainers. The gentleman here is wearing, again, brighter colours. His hosen and his tunic are much more tightly fitting, showing that he's probably got help getting dressed in the morning. On his belt, he is wearing a sword. Now, he's not dressed for war, so this sword is a signal of his status as a knight in society. He also has much more on his belt, and he's got decoration, so banding on his tunic. Finally, we move on to our nobility. Here we have our baron dressed in court clothing. He has a court under tunic and a highly decorated linen bliau, which is split to show off the bright colours of that under tunic. He's highly decorated, so there is a lot of embroidery on his bliau. Particularly, you can see here, this is his heraldry, surrounded by highly decorated vine work, which he would probably pay somebody to do for him, as it would take many, many months. His cloak is highly dyed with a very rich dark blue, and again, on his belt, he has a sword, that symbol of his nobility. Interestingly, a sword was worth the same amount as a modern day Ferrari or Porsche. So he is literally wearing his wealth on his belt. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like the Ragged Banner on Facebook for more updates and articles.